OK, now to a place that's described as a hospital that doesn't feel like a hospital. I'm referring to Evelina, London, which treats children, many of whom have long term health problems. It opened back in 1869, which means, of course, that it's 150 years old this year. Victoria Hollins has been looking at its history and its life saving work. This was a hospital built from love, founded in 1869 in one of the poorest parts of Southwark. It was funded entirely by Baron Ferdinand de Rothschild after his wife, Evelina, died in childbirth. The hospital was considered a model institution with light, airy wards. Today, a plaque marks the site. The original hospital walls form the edge of a small park. And as the hospitals moved on, so have patient needs. Those diseases were disappearing, the infectious diseases like scarlet fever or rheumatic fever. But what was then becoming important was the recognition that children with heart disease or kidney disease, which was my speciality, they required special provision and they needed to develop the special expertise to look after them. Doctors and nurses at the Avelina Hospital in London wear casual clothing and a helter-skelter take centre stage in the lobby. The Avelina opened at its current site in 2005 with 140 beds. It was designed to be a hospital that doesn't feel like a hospital, an aim much appreciated by Isabel Everest, who's been a patient for 10 years. It's kind of like a second home because I come so often. Doctors here are a lot slower to tell you and they simplify what they're going to say. So as a young person like me or even older than me could understand. And you always feel like you can ask questions. And... Oh yeah, definitely I ask a lot of questions. Evelina London is now the second largest provider of children's services in London and it's still growing. And this is the hospital's future, a new section of the paediatric intensive care unit. It's part of a brand new ward, the Sky Ward, which will eventually have 28 beds. It's a bit cluttered at the minute, but it will be a very lovely working environment. Beautiful. The new ward will open later this year, adding to other recent improvements like a new ventilation unit and clinical research unit. We'd like to provide a comprehensive children's hospital that um, children in other parts of the country and the world have access to. And that's our journey. That's what we're trying to, trying to provide. Um, and would you not say that you're there yet, though? No, no, we're not there yet, no. The hospital has clearly changed beyond recognition in 150 years, a modern success out of a 19th century tragedy. Victoria Hollins, BBC London News.